Hello, happy Father's Day to all the dads, wherever you may be. Hope you had a great Father's Day. I'm uh, oh, having a little technical difficulty. Yeah, we're back. Yeah, my dad, uh, 93. I didn't get to see him today. We did a little uh, Zoom. Uh, 93, man. He turned 93 last month for his uh, 93rd birthday. Uh, he got a uh, five-year driver's license renewal. All right? Way to go, California DMV still driving I'm worried about him right because he's pretty much exhibiting some gang member behaviors right he, he just keeps driving slower and slower his pants just keep getting lower and lower I'm like man forget toys for tots we need straps for paps Curtis Myrna, Myrna welcome and I was just doing some new jokes here I'm worried about my dad though right because uh, you think about it man you're driving at 90 something years old that's not the safest thing he had his first accident um, about a year and a half ago. He had a patch of ice in Palm Springs, California. He had a patch of ice in Palm Springs. How do you manage that, hitting a patch of ice in the Mojave Desert? Did he run over a jaywalker holding a daiquiri? But, and I can't believe the man didn't crash sooner. Like every other 93-year-old man, he can't see much of anything because he's got like eyebrows like a woolly mammoth. Have you seen the old guys with the lobster brows going on there? He looks like he gave birth to a pair of Brillo pads. I'm like, Mom, don't kiss him. You'll put an eye out. <laughs> He's an ear hair like chia pet. No wonder he didn't check before he backs up and change lanes. He can't see through that shrubbery. He has a little trouble driving. He's a little trouble processing the news now. If you're 93, you know, not everything makes sense. He asked me the other day, he goes, uh, uh, what's going on with that... Uh, Blackface Matters uh, protest. I'm like, what? Dad, you're talking about Al Jolson. They're talking about Al Sharpton. You're about 70 years late on that one, okay? My dad's so old, he thinks Joe Biden might be too young to be president. 93, man, but he's still doing it. I got to give him credit. And uh, I had a real busy week. Uh, went to Home Depot twice. Yeah, really big, big deal, you know? I'll tell you what, Home Depot, no business was better prepared for COVID-19 than Home Depot, right? Their employees have been socially distancing for years. And you go out in public now, there's pretty much, uh, it's pretty much free dress. Every day is Walmart dress day in America, right? Unless they require a COVID mask, there's no other dress code. I, show, I went to Sonic the other day, this guy's wearing uh, Rubber boots, khaki shorts, and a tank top. I'm like, uh, he was the assistant manager. Even before COVID, people were getting a little bit loose on the uh, on their on their dress protocol, right? I flew to uh, Tennessee, flew to Memphis, and I'm walking through first class on my way to my usual seat in the rear of the plane. Uh, I'm walking through first class. There's a lady sitting in first class wearing uh, sweatpants and a sports bra. I'm like, how are you flying in first class with no class, all right, lady? Sweatpants and sports bra. I'm like, we're flying to Tennessee. We're not fighting for UFC. What are you gonna do? You know, people are people are people. But uh, you know, I'm trying to, uh, I'm trying to stay busy enough. Um, what else happened this week? Gosh, just uh, went to the went to the Home Depot, and you know, I talk about making fun of other people. Look at my grooming standards. I got eyebrows. Like they're gone now. It's just forehead whiskers. My hairline's receding like an arctic glacier. And people used to say, hey Mark, you look great for your age. Now they're like, hey Mark, uh, you look your age. People would say, oh man, you look like uh, Jimmy Smith or Mark Anthony. I'm like, now they're like, you look like uh, Gene Simmons from Kiss. I'm trying to take better care of myself though. I went for my annual physical about three years late. I was complaining to my doctor. I'm like, doc, look at me. I used to have a six pack. Now it's just kind of a sad sack. He says, you need to do more crunches. Now I'm doing Nestle's Crunch and Captain Crunch. And my doctor wants me to eat a more uh, plant-based diet. Yeah, I'm thinking Hormel plant, Hostess plant. Gotta take care of yourself. You know, I did the Tai Chi for five years. I tried to do the uh, Eastern uh, meditative Tai Chi. You familiar with Tai Chi, a very powerful, effective martial art, especially if you're trying to freak out an old hippie having an acid flashback or slowly push a drunk guy down a flight of stairs. And I like the gym, man. I do. 
I look like Wayne Newton. Oh. <laughs> oh, I don't usually, I'm trying to do my comedy. She's saying you're not supposed to be funnier than I am, but that was pretty hilarious. Anyway, I'm trying to get back into the gym thing. My gym just opened up. I belong to a Planet Fitness, the dollar store of the fitness industry. Planet Fitness, man. I was there for two and a half years like clockwork every first Monday of the month because that was a pizza night. Come on. Planet Fitness, $10 a month. I was eating $40 a month worth of pizza. I was killing it. But they're out of control. You go to Planet Fitness, they got like 150 machines, 250 televisions. But they got so many TVs going, they got to turn down the volume. They put on closed captioning. You guys, you guys ever paid attention to closed captioning? Like, really check that out? I mean, I'm serious. I don't know what three-fingered, English is a fourth language, GED reject they hired off of Craigslist. I'm at the gym the other day. I'm trying to watch the news, and the CMM is retorting that President Don Juan Trump would be mating with rushing ladder Badmere Pudding over the situation in cereal and whooping crane. So, uh, man, uh, what else got? I got engaged in uh, um, December. My fiance and I uh, got engaged on Mazatlan, Mexico. Yeah, you guys, anyone been to Mazatlan on vacation or? Deported against your will. What's up, Steve? Yeah, and I like Mazatlan, but I'll be honest, I was a little nervous to go to Mazatlan. Not because it was Mexico, it was very safe, but I was nervous because we had to fly into the Mazatlan International Airport. I don't like flying in the airport where the initials are MIA. It's pretty much like being admitted to the DOA Medical Center or attending the LOL School of Law. And I flew on a, this is a Mexican airline called Volaris Airlines. You guys flew Volaris Airlines? I flew on a beautiful brand new 737 with tile floors. They had a nice wrought iron uh, security gate between the cockpit and the passengers. We had in-flight mariachis. They had a boiler in the back making uh, tamales for us. Looking awesome. But Mazatlan, just like the rest of Mexico, it keeps getting more and more Americanized. Like I went down there, we leave in the airport, uh, there's a Carl's Jr. They got a Carl's Juniors in Mazatlan, Mexico. We go like another mile up the road. They got a, a Office Max, an Office Maximos. And then right in downtown Mazatlan, they got a big Home Depot. Right across the street from the Home Depot, I saw 20 white guys looking for work. But when things settle down, man, I would I would consider going to Mexico again. You guys got to check it out. You get the best deals. You get a Mexican beach vendor, best deals in North America, right? Uh, we were hanging out on the beach. I got a, a um, rebuilt transmission 2020 Raider season tickets and an engagement ring for like uh, 187 pesos. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I did not pay 187 pesos. I did buy my fiance an engagement ring in Mexico. And man, they're getting expensive, right? My engagement ring for my wife was like four times as much what I paid for my fiance. My engagement ring was four times as much as I paid for my first wife. I'm like, Man, I gotta make this relationship work because I cannot afford a third engagement ring. She's awesome, man. She's she's getting a little concerned because we've been with the COVID and eating at home. She's she goes, honey, uh, can you tell her to gain weight? I said, no, honey, I'm not telling anyone. And uh, she set a wedding date for us too. Yeah, she set a wedding date. She goes, yeah, the day she hits 130 pounds. Don't worry, these are fiance jokes approved. She's awesome though, man. She's like America's sweetheart by day, uh, nocturnal nightmare by dark. Is anyone else uh, living with a light sleeper, right? She, to say she has sleep issues, that's like saying Charles Manson had anger issues. We've lived in this house for three months. We went through three mattresses in three months, you guys. The RC Willie furniture guy had a key to my front door. And she's... She's just, uh, it's hard for her to fall asleep, right? Everything, all the, the uh, um, amenities, everything has to be just perfect. Like the, the uh, pillows have to be the correct curvature for her to fall asleep, and the, the sheets have to be the correct ambient temperature, and the, the blankets have to be in uh, uh, perfect balance, uh, weight balance. And then she has uh, two fans going at the same time uh, for uh, uh, at like 12.7 decibels for uh, what they call white noise. White noise, I thought that was a hairband in the 90s.